for presentation. So the next speaker we have is Yenfang Su uh, from Bordeaux University, uh, and he will have his uh, presentation on energy harvesting, cementitious materials through nanofiber incorporation. Please. Okay, uh, good afternoon, everyone. Uh, my name is Yenfang Su. I'm a PhD candidate at the uh, Civil Engineering at Purdue University, and my advisor is Professor Lu Nan Lu. And today I'm going to share with you the topic of energy harvesting cementitious material through nano material incorporation. So uh, let's get started. As we know, concrete is the most widely used construction material due to its low cost and the easy to access. And in recent years, the rapid revolution in nanotechnology opens up an exciting opportunity to equip concrete with normal functionalities. Through the advanced manufacturing process, such as nanotechnology, the concrete can be defined as meta-concrete, which we propose in our article below. And uh, that means which the, the concrete will have the adaptive property can be used in different applications, uh, such as energy harvesting, sensing, high durability, other property, and self-cleaning, etc. So uh, today we're going to focus on the energy harvesting part. Uh, speaking to the motivation, the civil infrastructure provides massive avenues for potential uh, energy harvesting. So based, based on 2018 uh, Federal Highway Statistics, the length of public concrete pavement in, US, in the U.S. is uh, 55 thousand miles and the total concrete bridge deck area is around 200 million square meters. That's a lot. So we can actually harvest in energy such as like uh, solar radiation, temperature gradients uh, from vibration or from temperature variations using different approach such as uh, photovoltaic, uh, thermoelectricity, piezoelectricity, and pyroelectricity. So, uh, our group, uh, today I'm gonna present some of our group's, uh, focus on the uh, thermoelectricity and uh, piezoelectricity. Uh, first we're gonna start from the uh, uh, thermoelectricity. So, the thermoelectric material uh, it's a material when, when it exposed to temperature difference and the electron will move from hot to cold side and generating open circuit voltage. As a heat engine, the efficiency of a thermoelectric device is determined by a kernel efficiency and the material property, which is known as VT. So uh, to obtain high VT, we need the material with high CPA coefficient S and uh, high electrical conductivity and uh, lower thermal conductivity. So, uh, so only when VT is reaching 304 the electric a uh, thermoelectric device can be competitive with current electric generation. <clears throat> Sorry. So uh, what's the energy harvesting potential in concrete or alpha pattern or infrastructure? As you can see in the picture on your right hand side, the uh, time versus the uh, temperature. We have the alpha, concrete, black line, and uh, air, purple line. So we can observe that delta T between concrete pavement surface temperature versus air temperature range from 25 degree of Fahrenheit to 58 degree of Fahrenheit. So uh, this means 
is a great opportunity for us to use the thermoelectric material to harvest energy. And yeah, and this is one of our study using the oxide nanomaterial in concrete. And we use those two different oxide material, zinc oxide and the alumina dope zinc oxide to blend with uh, type 1 cement. And then the additional rate is from 0 0.2 to 1% by weight cement. And we did a series of the experimental tests for the thermoelectric property evaluation, like uh, seabed coefficient, electrical conductivity, and the thermal conductivity. So uh, this slide shows, shows what we perform the seabed measurement. And for the seabed me measurement, the thermal power measurement is defined by, uh, is calculated through the difference of the voltage divided by a difference of the temperature. And on your left hand side is uh, temperature versus the voltage output we, we obtained and we have the reference sample and uh, two other sample with uh, zinc oxide and the alumina zinc oxide. And we found that uh, 30% of improvement in feedback coefficient is observed in aluminum doped zinc oxide with 0.4 weight concentration. Uh, another property is the electrical conductivity. And uh, we get this uh, result at 28 days. And it's the mixture design versus the figure shows the mixture design versus the electrical conductivity. So as you can observe that uh, the, the, the red dot is the uh, aluminum dot zinc oxide and uh, the, the black triangle is the reference sample. The conductivity of aluminum dot zinc oxide is higher than plain cement pads for 37%, which is impressive. And as I just mentioned, we need to have lower thermal conductivity to have the higher efficiency VT of the for the energy harvesting. So the thermal conductivity uh, result I show on your left hand side is a mixture design versus the thermal conductivity, and uh, we we have. Uh, as you can see that the thermal conductivity decreased with the increase of the in additional rate of the nanoparticle. And uh, we also measure the density of each sample. And uh, we found that the thermal conductivity is reduced with the decrease of the density. And also we did the modeling work for the thermoelectric power a potential on, on your right hand side. So the estimate power output is 10 milliwatt per square centimeter at delta T of 50K, which are sufficient to power the small electronic device such as LED light, lightning sensors for structure health monitoring. Another interesting topic is using the uh, uh, piezoelectric material uh, to for the energy harvesting. And the principle of the piezoelectric material is based on direct and uh, uh, indirect effect, which can convert the mechanical force into electricity and vice versa. So, as we all know, vibration is everywhere, and we can turn the vibration energy from infrastructure and to store in the energy storage device, and then we can for another future application. And one of the promising piezoelectric material is PVDF. 
PDDF is the polymer based piezoelectric material, has a very high flexibility and can be adapted to different parts of the structure. So that's why we look into using the PBDF. And in our lab, you, we use the electro spinning device to generate the PVDF uh, beta phase nanofiber and to make it as device and uh, to incorporate into the uh, uh, cementitious material. So for PVDF, uh, the beta phase is more preferable for the piezoelectric property to increase the piezoelectric property. So we will tend to uh, tend to increase the uh, beta phase concentration as much as possible. And for the PVDF uh, nanofibers, uh, this is one of my colleagues. Uh, we work together. We have have the different concentration of the uh, PVDF precursor from 8% to 40%. And we found that for the 8%, we can have the more final fiber, which the final fiber will result in higher polling by electro spinning process. Therefore, the PBDF nanofiber with finer size has high beta phase concentration, which means we'll have higher energy harvesting efficiency. Also, we did some pilot testing for the piezoelectric best energy generator, which we embedded the uh, PVDF nan nanofiber into the bendable concrete ECC. And then we did the uh, four point bending test. And uh, the testing load rate, we, we vary the testing load rate from 0 0.5 millimeter per second to 2 millimeter per second and we have different length of the sample. So uh, here's just the result, the mechanical test, test result, the average optimal vector strength of the sample is around 4.6 megapascal, and then the elastic module is uh, 28 gigapascal. Uh, the change of the loading rate from 0 0.5 to 2 millimeter per second does not show any effect like much effect on the uh, structural properties. But it's worth noting that we also uh, we we also record the cumulative output voltage during the testing. So for uh, this slide uh, shows the sample with different configuration and the cumulative output output voltage. So we can see that cumulative output voltage increased with the increase of the loading rate and uh, the sample with high loading rate uh, has a, a greater voltage than other samples for three to five times and uh, the long band sample would have higher uh, result than the uh, short one. So uh, to conclude our works, uh, for the thermoelectric part, the zinc oxide and the alumina dot zinc oxide are efficient nanoparticle to tune the thermoelectric behavior of the cement tissue material. And the, the alumina dot zinc oxide nanoparticle with 0.4 concentration shows the best result due to the highest feedback coefficient. The estimate power of Output voltage we got is 10 millivolt, uh, milliwatt uh, per square centimeter, which is good for uh, power the uh, small electrons. And for the piezoelectric part, uh, our our cumulative voltage can reach uh, 17k millivolts, and uh, it's favorable for the multi-functional building material. So I want to acknowledge my uh, advisor and my lab colleague uh, Inin Gongshan and Ethan and the funding agency. Thanks for your kind of attention and the question and comment are welcome and also you can uh, swipe this QR code to visit our group website.
Thank you.